Oh, what's going on, everybody's here? Welcome back to some more Subnautica. So today we are gonna go fix the Aurora for the hundredth time. I swear, I've fixed the Aurora more times than I can even count. But today we're gonna do it because it's a necessary thing that we have to do. We have to stop the evil radiation from just basically destroying everything and having us be stuck in a radiation suit all the time. So um, yeah, we're gonna fix that. Hopefully get some goodies, get some upgrades, and then prepare ourselves to head back to the Altera Hub Fabrication Facility and finally figure out what the heck's going on. So that's the goal. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do like, subscribe, all the fun things. Let's go ahead. Let's start by playing a radio message. High priority, um, high priority message. Fantastic. Let's see. Carrying high priority passenger. Is that the one that's by the island? No. It's not the one over there. Uploaded to PDA. Interesting. We might have to pop over there and check that one out. Okay, so what we need is, uh, let's see, we've got our laser cutter. We've got our repair tool. We've got like pretty much everything we need here in order to go fix the aura. We just gotta get the radiation suit on and then we will be golden. Um, you know what? Let's go fix the aurora first, then we'll go check out that that broadcast message. Just so that way the radiation will stop and it'll slowly like dissipate. We can go around without radiation suits and not have to worry about that. So, yeah, we're going to head over there. We're going to do that. If you've never seen the Aurora fixed, well, guess what? It's going to happen. We're also going to unlock the prawn suit today. So if you're looking for the prawn suit, well, spoilers, this is how you get it. It's exciting. I know. It's amazing. All right. So first things first, uh, let's see. We have two health packs. We have some water. We're actually going to, we're not going to need water. Um, we're probably going to pick up water while we're there. We'll take a battery and a health kit. And that is it. That's all we're going to take with us. I just used that one. Darn it. <laughs> Darn it. Okay. So let's make sure we've got radiation helmet, gloves. All right. So we should be good on the rad stuff. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go fix this thing up. Let's get a whole bunch of goodies. Let's bring everything home, shall we? All right. Where are you, you uh, silly Aurora? All right. Now we're going to make sure that we don't... Uh, we're going to try not to encounter a Reaper Leviathan. There's always a chance when you go to the Aurora. There's always a chance. But I think we'll be okay. We have another distress signal. Oh, we need to play these so we can get them all like done and get all the goodies from them. Oh, look at you, big, huge chunk of destroyed ship. You know, I bet you were a nice spaceship. I bet you were real nice back in back in your day. All right, I can hear a Reaper. Let's just not see one though, you know? Let's just stay away from that part. Life form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. There he is, look at that guy. Isn't he terrifying? Oh, yes. Everybody hates those things. <laughs> I hate them. They're so terrifyingly terrible. Oh, no, thank you. All right. So let's just go ahead and we'll park right in here. We should be fine. Our little sea moth should be safe. And let's go ahead and get our knife out because that's what we're going to. We're going to be fighting off the waves of crabs here. Come on. Come on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Ah, you're dead. You suck. Explore it. Who? Airborne one. Perfect. Grab all of the goodies. Get you. Oh, he got me. What? Another one? Okay. Stop it. Bad crabs. You know what? We're just gonna run past them. I don't. I don't need the crabs anyways. Bad crab. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Stay away. Their insides are filled with human remains. I already know it. It's going to tell me here shortly. Nope, don't do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those crabs are eating the people. Okay. We're good. We've got this. Things seem a little shaky. That's to be expected with the freshly exploded ship. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get our fire extinguisher out. Put these out. 
All right. We are here. We've arrived. There's our propulsion cannon fragment that we needed. That's okay. We'll just go grab it ourselves. No worries. Bad fire. Perfect. Terminal data. Take that battery. Thank you much. Um, I will have this poster. I suppose we should go ahead and scan all the things while we're here, too. Just in case we decide to decorate our entire base. Oh, trash can. We always need a trash can. Would hate for the trash to end up in the ocean, you know? All right, let's make our way down here. So cargo bay three. Got to do a little, uh, little parkour here. Eh. Oh, really? Oh, hold on. Let's grab this. Another battery. Wonderful. Hut. And we did it. Aced it. First try. Okay. Um, let's see. Where's our PDF? Data bank, data, codes. Is it like 0619? Nope, 1454. I was so far off. All right. And open sesame. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Everything's on fire here. That's fine. To be expected. But we need to scan all of this. We got so many goodies in here. Um, yeah, Cyclops engine fragment. Another Cyclops engine fragment. If I'm not mistaken, I think we, I think you could get, I think it's just those two that you find here. I think you need the third one yourself. I think you have to, we have to go out and find that one. Food PDA. Unless there is another one in here been so long since I played this. I mean, there very well could be another one in here hiding somewhere. Oh, so many nutrient blocks. So absolutely wonderful. All right, let's get our knife back out. We're going to have some uh, stupid little guys in here. These things. Oh, I hate these things. Get out of here. You guys are terrifying. Oh, uh-uh. Bad. Bad. You're an infected one. Get out of here. <laughs> um, okay, let's go ahead and go through here. I think this is where Seamoth room is. I think this is where we're going to get our depth module. Actually. I think we get a depth module in here. Depth module? Yeah! Depth module mark one. Okay, Seed Moth Fragment. We already have that. So I'm not going to go and scan these just because like I don't need the titanium right now. Let's see anything else. Supply crate, a battery. Very nice. Um, okay, we do need to head that way, but let's head this way first. This is where we are going to repair our stuff. Do not attempt to repair without appropriate qualifications. I'm the only one here, lady. I'm appropriately qualified. You know what's actually kind of funny, if you think about it, is if I'm the only one on this planet, I could say I am the world-leading expert in everything. <laughs> I am the smartest person on the planet. I know. It's fantastic, isn't it? I can say anything. I am the world leading expert in uh, fishing. Best world's best fisherman. Uncontested. Best golfer. Um, smartest man alive. <laughs> it's just, it can be anything. Golly, there's so many of these things. We are still alive. Okay, did we get them all? 
I think we got all the little jerk dudes. All right, let's start working on some repairs here. We've only got like a dozen of these things to fix, so nothing crazy. All right, one more breach. Where are you? You sneaky devil, you. Where is it? I don't see any sparks or anything shooting out anywhere. Oh, breach. Where are you? Oh, there's one left. There's a little jerk face right here. Gotcha. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, I don't see it anywhere. Ah, oh, there it is. Sneaky devil, you. We've done it. My gosh. I'm the most qualified person to do the job. What can I say? Oh, good. Um, okay, we're going to pop over here. I don't think... Yeah, there's nothing in there, nothing there, nothing there. Okay, cool. We are good. Let's head out of here. And then we're going to head into uh, the Seamoth room. Whoop. Dodge the fire. Everything's fine. We're going to head into C or not Seamoth room, the Prawn Suit room. Yes, yes. Are you alive? Oh, you're alive. You're dead now. All right. And we're free. All right, let's see here. Let's go and get the scanner out. Integrating new PDA data. Oh, I forget how hard it is to see anything in here. If only I would have made a flashlight. Be gone, fire. I wonder if you can put out every single fire on the Aurora. Never tried. It's not something I've ever really tried to do. All right. Hey, look at those beautiful prawn suits. Absolutely marvelous. Okay, I need to be able to get close without catching on fire. Fire. Close enough. Perfect. Okay, there's also... So we've got all of these three right here. I think it's only three. Uh, you know what? It might be four pieces. It is four pieces. Okay. Can I get, can I scan you? Hey, there we go. Now, do we have a free depth module mark one? Oh. Wait, what was that? That wasn't a depth module. Is that like a sonar upgrade or something? Or storage module. It was a storage module. Okay. Um, And then let's go ahead and grab this one. And we're good. Prawn suit unlocked, baby. Heck yes. All right. So now that that's all done, let's go ahead and let's pop into... Look at all the batteries that we have now. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, let's consume some water. Oh, no. I just dropped it. Consume some water and some food. Let's go ahead and let's bring out our sea glide. We're going to pop down into here. Because there is more for us to do down here. And head this way. And then through here. And then up into here. Ha ha! And then this way. And yes, 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 yes. Alright, I don't think there's anything... I 
don't think there's actually anything in here for us to do. Oh, here we go. Aurora black box data. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to cut our way through here. I think this is where we get the repulsion cannon upgrade. So we get the propulsion and then we get the repulsion in here. All right, and we're through. Oh, we're gonna need lab coordinates or lab codes. This right here looks like a teleporter. I'm just saying that absolutely looks like a teleporter. I mean, I could be wrong, but it looks like a teleporter. What do you think? All right, so this right here, this is actually, eh. This is the place where we can actually get out if we had the propulsion cannon, we can like take all this out and we could actually hop out right here. But I don't think we can do that without it. Um, and let's see here, what else do we have? Do we have anything in there? Nope. All right, so lab code. I don't know that we actually grabbed the lab code yet. Oh, lab axis right here, 6483. There we go. Um, data download. Repulsion cannon fragment. Heck yes. More water. More water. Was detected on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. We're gonna grab these. Oh, inventory's full. Oh, it's because these things are huge. You know what? We're just dropping those. I don't care. We don't need those right now. They don't do anything. They're just for looksies anyways. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's pop out of here. Let's go back the way we came. And then we've got a whole bunch of uh, bunch of other goodies that we have to pick up. All right, through here. Ooh, I don't want to get too close to that electricity there. All right, how do we get out of here? Right here. This looks like a... Perfect spot to get out of. Okay. Parkour. A little bit more parkour. Here we go. Oh, the loot room. <laughs> oh, the wonderful loot room. You know, like it's it's good stuff, but at the same time, like it's I mean it's not that great. Because I mean, it's just food and water, which yeah, food and water is important, but like we're gonna have other things to worry about too, you know? Like living in the water for a while. Uh, PDA, a keep calm poster. New PDA data. I think we can, yeah, we can scan these counters too. Nice! scan any of these um oh hold on we can scan bar table oh single wall shelf there we go okay i don't think there's anything else in the fire so we're gonna scoot past that got those let's go ahead and just start all the way down the hall this way yay single bed Thanks for reminding me. Living a single life here. Playing it all alone. Inventory is completely full again. Oh my goodness. Anything in storage? Nothing. First aid kits. So batteries. Okay, hold on. Let's just go ahead and drop a first a couple of those first aid kits. Batteries are going to override like everything because batteries are super important. And posters because we need posters. Okay, what was in this room? I can't remember what was in here. What's in here? First aid kit, don't care. Battery, we need it. Let's go ahead and drop some food. I mean, we're pretty good on food anyways. Is there anything in the bag? You know, I never understood these carry-alls. I never understood them. Like, if, if you use the carry-all throughout the playthrough of Subnautica, leave a comment down below. I'm curious to see how many people actually use these things, because you can't really do anything with it. 
Like, it doesn't, like, fit in your inventory. It's like you just have to, like... I don't even know what the purpose of it is, actually. It takes up a lot of space, and you can't have anything in it while it's in your uh, in your inventory. It's just... It's so it's such a weird thing. Oh, we need that land poster. Okay, we got the land poster. It's fine. Okay, so cabin one. Captain's quarters. Cabin one. Let's see if we got a cabin one in here. Um, lab access, a note to self, 1869, maybe? Nice. Double bed! <laughs> the, the only double bed was secured by a door combination. <laughs> just, I'm just pointing out the obvious here, it's funny. Um... I want this guy. I want the wall shelves. What's in there? Uh, don't care. Don't care. Oh, blue cap. We need the blue cap. All right, perfect. Where do we went to cabin three? Uh, this is the captain's quarters, which we don't actually get the combination until later. But I don't honestly know if we're ever going to get to, like, how long we're going to get to that point. Because, like, we're going to be playing with the modded stuff. So, I'm just going to go ahead and open this now. Using the combination. And then grab the stuff out of there. And then we'll just call that good. Because I don't want to have to come back here. <laughs> okay. Uh, spoiler warning. 2679. Just so you know, spoilers. Just so you know. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and drop those. One of these is almost empty. Let's drop that. We've got to grab that. That gives us the information to get off the planet. This Aurora miniature is super cool. I would have loved to have seen them make a um, like a little miniature thing. I don't need those. In real life, you know, there's that. And then we need poster and we're good. We have done it all. We can get out of here now. I think we did it all. I might've missed something, but that's okay. Because like I said, we're here for the modded stuff. Really? This is just kind of like one of those things that we had to do in order to get some stuff done. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to head back out of here and see you back at the base. And we're free! And we're gonna do a swan dive. A most epic swan dive back to our sea moth. There is a reaper over here, so we gotta be careful. <laughs> oh, fantastic. We are good. All right, let's head out of here, head back to the base. Not anger, a reaper, leviathan in the process. Where is he? I don't even care. We're running. I do care a little bit. There he is. Old Mr. Grabby Grabby face. No, thank you. You know, I'm almost positive there's a life pot over here somewhere, too. Oh. Uh, mm, we'll figure that out later. Not really that worried about it. I mean, I kind of am, but I'm kind of not. Yeah, there is a life pod. There's a life pod down over there next to the mushroom biome, but we're going to be going back there looking for um, Cyclops parts, so not really worried about it. Why is there a tiny reef back right here? What are you doing? You know, some of these things, they just don't know where they're supposed to stay because we've had a, a sand shark come back to the starting area. We've had... <laughs> A reef pack's making it over here. I've actually had a ghost leviathan come up over here before. Uh, it like glitched through and it was like patrolling this area. Yeah, it was terrifying. This is not supposed to be ghost leviathans in this area. <laughs> by, by any stretch of the imagination, not supposed to be here. All right, so, oh, actually, let's go ahead and let's throw upgrades. Uh, let's throw on our depth module and our storage module because why not? No, I dropped them. No, my boy. <laughs> All right. There we go. Crush depth now 300 meters. Okay. Aboard, oh, thank you. I'm glad to be aboard. Much 
so happy to be, to be aboard. Um, okay, so we got a lot of batteries. Now, this is fantastic because we need one, two, three, four. Oh, my gosh. We need four more power cells in order to get that Altera fabrication facility up and running. Which is not bad. But we're going to have to, like, you know, do that. We're going to have to do that. So, uh, let's go ahead and swap all these over. Don't need any of this stuff. The engine efficiency module, we can't use that until we get the Cyclops, obviously, because it's a Cyclops engine efficiency module. So we need to go ahead and build. Oh man, I was really hoping we were gonna get our. It's gonna. I was hoping we would get our new um, oxygen tank here, but we haven't yet. We might have to go. You know what? I think I have another. Do we have another message? I'm gonna go hit the button to see if we can get another message. Because I'm pretty sure the auction auction tank is from. I think it's from one of the one of the drop pods, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, I knew we had another message. What is this one? Oh, another one. All right. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay, so there's that one. Grab another med kit. Always need med kits. So we've got. Where was that one? We have that one over to there, and then we just got data bank. Um, Aurora survivors. What else under Aurora survivors? It was life pod six, right? Oh, Life Pod 6 crew log. I thought you drowned. I was going to go try to attract somebody's attention. That's not just that's not a distress flare. Stop waving around like that. You'll catch the fuel line explosion. Ooh. Not good. Not good. Oh my gosh, there's a reef back here now. What the heck are you doing? Oh. Yeah, no. Immovable object versus an unstoppable force. Seeing it unfold right in front of her eyes. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's pop over to what are we at? 89. What the heck? I am like all kinds of like decombobulated here. We're not even facing straight. Okay. There we go. All right. Um, life by 13 carrying high priority passengers remains. Let's go over to there. I'm hoping that this isn't the one. This isn't the one, is it? No, I don't think this is the one that is like, uh, basically makes you, uh, meet a Reaper Leviathan. So yeah, we're gonna pop over here. We do have now. We do now have 300 meter depth, which is super nice. This isn't the one that we already went to, is it? It might be. No, we went to Life Pod Seven. Life Pod Thirteen. Um, I'm not necessarily a fan of where this is taking me. Oh, mushroom biome. Okay. We're going to stay down in the mushroom biome, kind of. If I'm not mistaken, there is electric. Is the electric eels over here? I think the electric eels might be over here as well. Yeah, okay. All right, life pod 13. Passing 100 meters. Oh, darn it. I didn't grab my rebreather. Okay, we got the PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Is there not a data box around here? In this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint all terra vehicle signatures. Okay. So this is the one that's supposed to lead us to finding the pieces of the Cyclops, I do believe. Um, yeah, there's a whole fragment right there. <laughs> I don't have my rebreather on. Ugh. You know what? We got to grab the whole. We got to grab it. The this, this stuff. Or bridge fragment. We got to grab this stuff over here. I'm already all the way over here. Oh, 
Oh, moon pool fragment. Oh, that would be so nice. The moon pool would be phenomenal to get for this. Then we can recharge. All right, let's keep looking here. Oh, modification station fragment. Well, that's nice. One of three. Oh, you know what? Is the modification station where we get the next upgrade for our our auction tank? I thought there was one more before that. Oh, there's another bridge fragment. Man, there is just fragments everywhere. Two, three. So we need one more bridge fragment. We need two more modification station fragments. And then we're going to also need... Was it two more moon pool or three more moon pool fragments? I don't recall. Oh, you know what? We've got to do it. We got to go in here. There's a little special something something in here. Where are you at, little buddy? Here you are. Oh, it's going to be so cute. Oh, he's going to be so cute. If you don't know what that is, that is one of, I believe, three cuttlefish eggs. So once we have the appropriate means of hatching that, we'll go ahead and hatch him and then we'll have a, we'll have ourselves a little friendly buddy. Oh, there's another, what is that? Oh, that's a power tether. Power transmitter fragment. Interesting. Oh, Cyclops Soul fragment. There we go. Oh, no, that's another bridge fragment. What the heck? That's weird. I thought there was, I thought the whole fragments were over here too. Could that be a moon pool fragment? Yes, indeed it is. How many more do we need? Oh, we've already, oh, fantastic. Oh, that is so nice. Okay, so we just need the modification station now. All right, let me go back to where the first modification station fragment was. Um, I don't think they're typically too far away from each other. Oh, what is that? Oh, scanner room fragment. Don't we already have the scanner room? Yes, we do. Um, there's another bridge fragment, but we already got all these. Go ahead and grab it just for now. And then it looks like we found ourselves a message. We've got ourselves a time capsule. Cooked peeper and some, don't panic. Wait, hold on. Oh, so long and thanks for all the fish. We got cured peeper in large filtered water. Wow. I always leave nickel for everybody. Or um, the super amazing batteries, but thank you for that. I don't know who it was. It didn't have a name. Darn. Oh, uh, what do we have here? What is this? Oh, moon pool fragment. That's okay. We can use the titanium right now. Gotta find that modification station though. What's that? That's another bridge fragment, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, okay, we're getting into the creepy area. With the creepy crawlies, with the creepy swimmies. Is creepy swimmies a thing? It's gotta be now. Oh, hold on a second. That is the hole. Cyclops hole fragment, yep. Okay, so we need two more of those. And then we also need the engine fragment. I don't think that's a hole. I think that's a bridge fragment. Because we already scanned one of these and it said it was a bridge fragment, right? Bridge fragment, don't need it. We need the hole fragments. <gasps> Modification station fragment. Here we go. Here we go. All right, one more of those and two more hole fragments. And then I don't know if the engine fragment's going to be over here or not. Oh, there was a whole fragment right next to it, too. What are the odds of that? Okay. 
Okay, let's stick around in this area here. That looks like a hot that looks like a whole fragment as well. <laughs> Alright, we got all the whole fragments. We need one more modification station fragment. And I'm pretty sure we only need one more engine as well. Yeah, we just need the engine and then we'll be then we'll have the, the Cyclops unlocked. I don't know if we're gonna build the Cyclops right away. Um, but we shall see. Okay, I'm starting to hear Reaper Leviathan, which means it's probably that way, which is not super great. Uh, I'm going to stay away. Could also be over this way. What's that? <gasps> Modification station fragment. Thank you. We can get out of here now. All right, we are good. Let's roll out of here. Um, okay, home this way. Fantastic. The engine fragment, I'm not sure that it's actually over here. I could be wrong, but we could always come back for the engine fragment. Um, I haven't seen any of... Well, I suppose if I would have seen an engine fragment, I would have gathered it, so I wouldn't have seen it. Um, we probably should heal our stuff up. Also, does this power transmitter fragment... Was that just one? It was. Okay. Let's go ahead and repair our, our Seamoth here. All right, get us new. Let's skedaddle out of here. If I happen to see any more fragments of anything, we'll stop and grab them, but I don't see anything else. Ah, oh, home sweet home. Feels good to be back. All right, so we unlocked a few new things. Um, oh, the thermal blade. That's right. Oh, modification station. Okay, thermal blade, ultra glide fins. We did not get an upgrade to our O2 tank yet. Um, oh, actually, that reminds me. Speaking of, we need to put our rebreather on because this not having the rebreather is not fun. And then we also unlocked the moon pool. Where is the moon pool at? So the moon pool, two titanium ingot, lead and two, or two lead and a lubricant, easy enough. We'll get that built for sure in the next episode. And then I believe we are good to go as far as um, heading back to the Altera, uh, Altera Hub Fabrication Facility. So we don't have a better oxygen tank yet, but we do have the seam off and we do have the capability to build the uh the the remaining required um generator batteries so we can get that online and we can kind of go from there and kind of see what's going on also we are going to hit the buttons on these things and try to get our um i can't remember exactly where we get our next tank i actually thought it was i thought it was in the modification station but it's obviously not so uh, but that's going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. And soon we shall be getting into the modded stuff. I know. Uh, everybody was, like, excited for the modded series. But then <laughs> we haven't even touched any of the modded stuff yet. But we got to do the basics. You got to learn to s swim before you can swim faster. So, <laughs> anyways, thanks again for coming out. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.